Hello folks, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's tip is about uh, arranging and spacing um, objects, really. I've got, uh, for my example, I'm going to be using this electrical plan. And you'll notice that there are a lot of a lot of can lights in here and and they're kind of not really cleanly placed and that's you know that's typical uh, we're, we're moving quickly we're gonna we're gonna just you know click 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 drop them in here but uh, I'm kind of a perfectionist and I like to have um, I like to have them looking nice so I'm going to select all of this line here of can lights and I'm going to click on this tool down at the child tool uh, wherever your child tools show up uh, mine are on the bottom the align distribute objects option you can also right click uh, let's select again and if you quickly right click uh, you, you can select that here align distribute objects uh, so what what I did was as I'm shift right clicking it deselects that last one so I escape I shift right click again on that last one and now it's selected so I'm going to align distribute objects and it didn't do, select that one okay I'm gonna use the child tool <laughs> um, so I want to align them horizontally right um, in so so I want to align them in a straight line this way so I want them to move horizontally based on uh, the centers of these objects so that's number one now they're straight I'll do the same thing again with this second line align I shift uh, shift clicked or uh, shift dragged around all of them and I'm going to hit align distribute objects move ho objects horizontally to align the centers and they're in a straight line that's much better right um, but I'm, I'm gonna go even a little more persnickety uh, OCD if you will than that um, I want to oh it was already it was already checked let me undo a little bit I thought it was looking awfully nice, right? Align objects. We're not going to move objects vertically. So when the first time you do this, by default, the do not move vertically or do not move horizontally is checked. So I'm going to do centers. And centers again. There we go. Now I'm going to, I have never seen this before, never really looked for it, move vertically to space evenly. So between the first selection and the last selection, we're going to space all these objects evenly. And I do not want to move these horizontally at this point. So I could do that all in one click, as you saw happen earlier by accident a little bit. Um, so space evenly again. I'm going to do both functions at the same time with this line here. Uh, so select all of them, align distribute objects. I'm going to space evenly in the vertical direction, and I'm going to move horizontally to align the centers. There you go. So a little bit of a um, just you know clean um, way of of uh, doing things there I'm curious what would happen if I had four and I align centers horizontally and align centers vertically ah I wondered if it would do the same thing okay don't do that don't align centers on both axes or it will line, end up in a one pinpoint in the middle um, so we just selected all of them we did the align uh, objects, align distribute objects, uh, child tool, 
chose the appropriate axes vertically and horizontally and what we wanted that to do. I really like this space evenly um, option and uh, really cleans things up quickly. Uh, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Today's Tech Tip Tuesday. You can really use this on any object, not just electrical objects. Um, and I imagine you could use this on um, on a multiple multiple types of objects. If you select electrical framing lines, CAD lines, all of them same, it probably would do the same same type of thing. Um, if this has been helpful, please uh, leave an encouragement. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, and as always, subscribe. It will. You'll see these uh, these videos pop up each week as we post them. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great week.